Hello everybody and welcome to Hull City Transfer Talk, episode number 12 that I'm bringing to you this week and I know what you're thinking. Joe, give us the news. We want to hear about Tom Huddleston because I have an update for you. But first, we'll just go over the main bits of action that have happened over the course of the last seven days. Now, do excuse me because hair fever is coming. <laughs> it's gone. Great. So, last week... We brought in Matt Smith on loan from Man City for the season. Central midfielder was very good against QPR and was lively when he came on against Preston as well when he made his debut. He's coming back. He's gone again. He's great. And uh, yeah, very excited about Matt Smith coming in. Should be a very, very good addition to the side for this season. To make space for him, out went Festus Arta on loan to Barrow for the season. Already made his debut for the club. Kept a clean sheet on his home debut as well for Barrow in the Carabao Cup. Wearing the number 25, which he would have won this season had he stayed with us. So good luck to Festa, Fe, Fe, Festus out there. Uh, with Barrow, very highly rated young centre-back, very highly rated. And hopefully this is sort of the push that he needs, the push Jacob Greaves got uh, when he went to Cheltenham. So hopefully Arta can kick on. Also leaving on the very same day was Jordan Flores. Now I know what you're thinking. He already left. I know. But... He had his contract with us cancelled, so he was no longer out on loan at Northampton. He was a permanent Northampton Town player from Friday last week. So, Jordan Flores, I wish him all the best. It was just, it was a very rogue signing, that one. Made four appearances for us, all of them off the bench. Never really worked out for him here, and I wish him all the best. But, this is what you're waiting for. Not confirmed, but looking very likely. Grant McCann held talks with Tom Huddleston on Monday and Hull Live reports that they went very well. Hull Live believe that it is a foregone conclusion that Tom Huddleston will sign for Hull City for the second time in his... Well, technically the... Is it? No, second time. Because it was Livermore who we had on loan, wasn't it? It was Livermore who we had on loan. Let me just try and find the quote from Grant McCann. Because Grant was asked about it in his press conference today. And despite interest from other clubs, Tom Huddleston favours a move back to the MKM Stadium and is in talks to sign for Hull City. Grant McCann says... I've left that more to Lee, Lee Danborough, and Ehab, Ehab Alam, to try and strike a deal with Tom, if they can. So we'll see what happens. Grant won't see him. And, yeah, mo most signs point towards Huddleston re-signing for City. He wants to move. It's now just a case of waiting for someone to leave to clear the space. So it look and it looks as though the player who will leave to make space is Thomas Mayer. That's the rumor anyway, which would make a lot of sense if it was Mayer who was going, because he's had very little opportunity. Obviously, his injury back end of last season didn't help him with that, but I doubt he'd have got in the team anyway. It wasn't in the team the other night. Uh, I met him in the stands. I had a chat to him, got a photo with him. After I after I after I had the photo with him, I was walking away and I heard him say to the people who were sat behind him, uh, "I look great in that photo, you know." So like that, so like that. What a guy! What a guy! And um, 
but ni- but you may think, oh, that's it, he's off if you want in the squad. But neither were Randall Williams, Sean McLaughlin and Ryan Longman. The three other COVID-related absentees, Mayer was involved. Well, Mayer was within the quartet of players ruled out. They're all back, but I doubt Thomas Mayer will even get a game, if I'm honest with you. I doubt that he'll get a game. And if it is him to go, I'd be sad to see him go, but we never got to see the best of him. McCann rates him, says he'll be a very good player once he adapts to English football, but he hasn't had the opportunities to adapt because of injury and form of other players. And I just I just don't think he'll be able to cut it at championship level. So it looks as though it's going to be Thomas Mayer off. But we're in talks to side Tom Huddleston. We're in talks to sign Tom Huddleston. That's the main. If he were to come back, I think he'd keep the number twenty three, which he wore in pre season. He wouldn't get an, he wouldn't get a different number. I think he would just keep that twenty three shirt. But I reckon as soon as we can get someone out the door permanently, whether whether it be Thomas Mayer or somebody else, it will be Tom Huddleston in. Unless it's a first teamer, and we need to prioritise replacing them first. That's all there is to it now. <sighs> Tommy Huddleston coming back to City. I'm gonna. I can see it being about a two-year deal. Two-year deal. Maybe an option of a third if he wants it. If he wants to stay in the game. If we want to keep him. He's coming back. I think he's coming back. And that is the greatest part. That's the greatest news I've had all week. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please do drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow for um, the preview for Hull City versus QPR. And on, uh, and you know, you might get a little Premier League predictions video scram uh, sprinkled on top of that. If not, it will probably be out Sunday or Monday. That's what I'm gonna say about that video. But the predictions are there; they're coming. They will be out at some point. All right, see you later, everyone. Goodbye.